Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Mango etc. and I'm here today to bring you the review for Torah Code chapter 327. And now, so in this chapter, we have everybody's has they've started, they've headed out. Everyone's headed out. They're not happy with their appearance, but they said they've they've said YOLO, we're all of it, and they've headed out. So yeah, everyone's headed out in the camper monster which i think gg supplied them with what well, these is all except for toriko and star Jung, which they left on star Jung's dragon thingy what well, they they're well basically toriko and star Jung, they're riding out on on star, in star Jung's rides so yeah so they're all heading out and the first thing i thought when i read this is yo i want to battleship blow blowfish because that thing looks sick like it's just a blowfish and then just on top of the blue thick is rocking big cannons. I was like, yo, this thing is ready for war. Like, if anyone tries mess with this thing, it's like, yo, no, GG. And he just loads all of his cannons in the one direction of the enemy and just blast away. This thing was looking sick. This thing is looking, I was like, yo, I want one. So I'm going to head, I'm heading to Gourmet World soon, guys. So if you want to join me, just drop me a comment and then we can arrange this thing because I want I want a blowfish battle I want a battlefish blowfish a battle a battleship blowfish <laughs> but yeah so and so we find out about that and Tor not Toriko Zebra and and Branchy have the battlefish blow battleship blowfish and they're riding out on that so Chapter then flicks to I think it was Sunny next, and we just find out that Sunny and Live Bearer, Bearer they're heading to Era Five, which is known as the most beautiful place in Gourmet World. Well, so this further, oh, further, oh, I lost the word, but you know how Sunny likes beautiful things, and it's because just convenient that Sunny ha just be happens to be going to the most beautiful place in the Gourmet World. So we move, then move on to Coco and his, his that duo, and they're heading to I think no, I, I can't remember the era, but the era that they're heading to, the Cloud Continent, is known as the most harshest place in the Gourmet world. Like it's said that it's hard to get to, and it's for this reason that Coco says that it's for this reason that maybe the Zero Biotope has a headquarters there. Because it's that like the harshest place to get the harshest place in Gourmet World or to get to, etc. etc. Then the chapter then switches over to Toriko and Starjong. And then from this we learn that how well Toriko asks Starjong like <clears throat> didn't Midra ask you to go after another? But Starjong's like, it's fine, Midra just wants me to lend you guys a hand. But he does mention that he has a personal interest in another and um, we don't know if this is <coughs> excuse me we got yeah he's, he says he has a personal interest in another but he also says says that he doesn't know why why he has his personal interest in it but, but he thinks it might relate to his gore, his gourmet monster and Toriko can understand this because because as, as as long as he could remember, he's wanted to make God his main dish, but he doesn't know why. <clears throat> so he starts to think also that it might be because his gourmet saw demon has eaten another before. I mean, not another God before. And that's why he wants to make it his main course. From this bit we of, of Tor with Toriko and Starjung, we also... Starjung asks Toriko... Like what happened within the two years? You seem way much stronger than he was back then. I mean, just learned that how that Toriko, how he, Toriko felt about his defeat to Star Jung, about how even after many a many a victory, tens of thousands, I think it was said in the chapter, he still can't the wound that in the 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 wound that that fight inflicted, that the intern the mental battle scars of that wound has still not healed to this day. And then I think it was Star Jung that says it, that he goes on to say that how if it was to fight right now, 
the results will be the opposite. So Stajan is St Torica is now stronger than Stajan, which is honestly the fight now because that 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 fight we got in the cooking island the cooking island arc the cooking competition arc. I can't remember what it was called. That was a very sick fight. So, if the of things, I want to see how much stronger. T if he is stronger, I want to see how much stronger Toriko is than Stardom now. Like, cause, yeah. <laughs> but after the Toriko and Stardom bit, we then hop over to Gigi and Komatsu, and we basically learned that there is three spirit food gates within the black triangle but these are hard to get to because they're surrounded by tornadoes which are 10 kilometers in width and um capture beasts of level 2000 plus and uh, some just some more craziness and Gigi goes on to say that it's not that we can't get to these areas these three areas which are within the black triangle it's just that there's an easier method there's a because there's three doors within the black triangle, which I think I already mentioned, and there's a fourth door which is in a civilization where there's just where it thrives basically. Like there's loads of chefs. I think this, I think you said that it's the most populated area in Gourmet World. Don't quote me on that though. <laughs> and yeah, it just thrives loads of chefs, like good vibes and all that. This is what he basically goes on to goes on to say so they just Gigi decides that they're gonna head to that door the fourth door because it's the easiest to get to and Komatsu is just like all right cool this, this sounds fun let's head to that door and Gigi says something that like troubles me a bit he says if only this was fun so what's gonna happen when they get to the civilization I don't know but just from that alone I'm thinking something something serious is gonna happen but we'll see in the chapters to come and that was the the chapter really what we do get from what else we do get from this chapter is that we find that how Toriko is gonna get married once they've gathered all the ingredients so in a month's time basically Toriko says to Rin we'll get married then and so when oh so basically when everything's all over they're gonna get married and they're gonna get married in the gourmet hotel which is the hotel that Komatsu works at the, another thing that I noticed from the chapter is the whole Toriko and Komatsu had a little speech where Toriko says something on their lines of don't forget to do that thing for me so they've got something planned out and I want to know what that is because I I'm, should I already know what it is or like you know like that's something that came out of the chapter as well and that's it that's everything i want to say for my rating i'm going to give it a three so i think that's self-explanatory self <laughs> i think it explains itself why i'm giving it a three star rating so i'm gonna leave it there so like always guys i'm asking you to rate comment and subscribe but most importantly take care have a nice day